Hi, today is August 5th, 2024, and here are my poems for the day. The first one is poem number 1210 for the year, Memoirs. As I was packing yesterday, I found on a high shelf way in the back a book I had bought when I was 17 or 18, soon after it had come out. I turned to the first page, knowing that I already knew its first sentence. I was born in a house my father built. I thought of Dan Aykroyd quoting that sentence and looked for the video, and then I remembered why it was canceled. It was something Aykroyd called Belushi's Kissinger, which I won't repeat. Then I turned to the last page and the author's description of leaving the White House, each hand flashing a peace sign before he boarded the helicopter, and then I remembered, don't buy books, buy crooks. Well, I did buy it, and I just want to say this right now, that regardless of what they say about it, I'm going to keep it. Poem number 1211, Orgasm. Orgasm sat on the precipice, not yet present, not quite realized. Orgasm dripped with anticipation, mounting tension, increasing sensation, closing in closer, closer, so close. Orgasm looked over the edge of the abyss, almost too frightened to leap into ecstasy. Orgasm was a bud waiting to bloom, waiting to burst and spill out and spill over. A bee buzzed around orgasm and inquired, if you haven't yet orgasmed, can you really be called orgasm? Orgasm brushed the bee away saying, be quiet bee, I'm trying to come. Orgasm wanted to be, but orgasm also loved becoming and orgasm loved coming. Poem number 1212, The Prize. They created a sacred space with twigs and whirligigs and sprigs. They wore multicolored wigs and ate great bowls of figs. They envisioned a world of joy, of infinite playgrounds and games and toys for all men and women and all girls and boys, and they made a magical noise. Then they beheld their magnificent prize, the sweet surprises, the pastries and pies, they laughed until tears burst out of their eyes, then slept the sleep of the wise. Poem number 1213, Little Lambs. Bella Lugosi was bellicose, as James Earl Carter did cart wheels. Desmond Tutu danced the lead in Swan Lake, and Little Lambs... Hey, I'm going to start again. Poem number 1230... <clears throat> Poem number 1213, Little Lambs. Bella Lugosi was bellicose, as James Earl Carter did cartwheels. Desmond Tutu, Desmond Tutu danced the lead in Swan Lake, and little lambs ate ivory. Charlie Chaplin preached to the converted. Alfred Hitchcock, you can figure it out. The Prince of Hungary devoured Houdini, and little lambs ate Ivan. Levi Stubbs put his cigarette out. Ch Chastin? Buttigieg edged his partner. Cows eat tweet and sows eat tweet and little sharks eat doisters. I'm not going to read it again. You get the idea. You can just read it. Maybe it'll make more sense if you read it. And the last poem today, poem number 1214, Truly Happy. I asked for a sliver and I got a slice and it was more than enough. Unfortunately, this is a metaphor. If my stomach were as easily satisfied, I'd be a reasonable weight, and I'd be truly happy. All right, that's it. Thank you. I appreciate you.